Well, the, the flat roof is designed, just as you mentioned, uh, two ways. There is this roof and it's called the roof shapes and there's this, this flat roof. It's really simple. You only need to find the contour which you would like to cover with that and say, well, that's the whole building, for example. And then there is a slight pitch in this roof, which you can go there at the same way, just as we discussed last time, you can go to the pigeon shape and you can change its pitch. Let's just change it. I don't know, like five degrees update. So it's slightly pitched and you can say, okay, and now it's there. Yes. And again, you can set up <coughs> the cuts to make it cut the, the, the walls. Can you go yeah. back to the automated roof shapes? Because there's, there's some other, other thing what I think we'll, we'll, <coughs> we'll talk about. So, um, there's actually uh, quite, a f quite a few shapes here. Obviously, you can modify them as you go, but there's one aspect that we have to cover, and that, that is the, the butterfly. Because uh, creating a, sh um, a shape like this one might be challenging, but this is a, a good starter point where yeah, you can actually place simple. this and you can define how the, how the roof planes are, are pitched. It's, it's absolutely simple, and still you have the option to change the, the roof planes later. Now we are talking about a projected roof, and th this is the time when we start to go into the direction where we yes. will have now talking about the, the roof windows and the projected roof dormer roofs. But the point, point here is that there are specific roof shapes that you can just simply draft and set up a, a different angle. You can, you can even make it, uh, you know, like asymmetrical or something like that. And if it's even more complex, like, I don't know, it's like, you know, one triangular shape here, another one here, another one here, you can use the tool that I'm about to show you now. And that's called the roof by three points or the roof by um, reference line. And this comes here in the roof. So now, last time and in the current section, we talked about the first two options only. But there are quite a few here as well. And that's the roof plane by reference line, the roof plane uh, with three points. P3 uh, is for three dots, three points in, in the 3D space. So how this works? Well, let's say uh, this is a building. It's, it's actually a room, which I went on the spot. And I measured the wall and I measured the, the ceiling. And that way I know that in the corner, the roof was, I don't know, 2.4. And here it was like uh, on, on, a, on a meter only. And if I know three heights of a roof, then the software can draft me a roof plane. So if my job is to only design one roof or two roofs, uh, I mean roof planes, then I don't have to uh, um, use the big cannon, you know, the, the, the automatic roof or something like that. I just use two roof planes and that will do. Yes, the and work. then you can do it by uh, plane by plane. And, and actually this is a very good solution for <laughs> attic spaces because that yeah. way you can just build it up one by one. So let's see how that works. I will use this uh, roof plane by 3D, uh, three points because that's the most of the time used because you, we know the distances in the 3D space. So I click on this one. And first things first, again, just as in other cases, I need to tell the software what's the roof shape. Now the roof shape in this first uh, example, it will be the whole room itself. So I just click here. I just follow the contour. Click here, and then uh, the second step is that I need to determine the first height that I know. Say I was measuring this here, and it was one meter. Then I have to add the second point. This here, it was again one meter. And there was the entrance here, and it was 2.4 meters. So I just click here, and it was 2.4. So now the software understands everything, and it can draft a, a nice roof plane for me. So if I just simply select this part and let's just build it up in 3D. Now with all the cut and everything, I will have something can already be considered as a habit, an inhabited roof. 